All right, so now that we've been able to solve the Comet Children serializer, so the Comet Detail has its children, we can do the exact same thing with our actual posts. So getting the comments from our actual post, which is gonna make a big difference. So um, let's go ahead and do that by jumping into our post serializers. And in the post detail serializer, this is where we're gonna be getting our comments. So before we do some stuff, we have to do some imports. So from comments.api.serializers, import the comment serializer. So I'm gonna be going off of that first comment serializer for now. Um, that's what I wanna use because this is, this is kind of like the comment list view serializer where the comment details are slightly different, right? Um, so we go back in here, we've got the comment serializer and then we also wanna import the comment model. So comments.models import comment. And we also want to get the post content type. So if we go into our models themselves, we see in here, um, if we can get the content type, it's actually right here. It'll show us the content type for any particular object. This is important for actually working with this object. If we didn't do this, we'd have to import the content type and do it inside of the serializer method field that we're about to do. But in this case, we don't have to do it because it's already done for us. We've already done it before. So again, in the post detail serializer, this is where we're gonna be putting this. And we're gonna come in here and say comments equals to serializer method field. And we're gonna come down here and do define get comments and self object. And then we wanna get the content type. So content type is equal to object.get content type, right? If we look back in our model, let's just double check. That's what it says. And it is get content type and it's a property so we don't have to call it. So we get the content type, and then we wanna get the comments that are related to that content type. And we also wanna say object ID, just to, just to make sure that we are doing this. So that's object.id. So again, generic foreign keys, this is how it works. If we look at our model, we've got content type, which is the model type, and then the object ID, which is the instance ID. Um, and then we're gonna get things for that. We can also use this filter by instance, right? So this is actually showing us another method that we created specifically for this reason. Um, so let's go back into our serializers. And now we're gonna say comments equals to comment.model, or excuse me, comment.objects filter by instance. And the instance is this case. Let's go back and take a look at that model itself in comments. Uh, we've got the instance, so it's getting for model. So it's doing the content type for us, as well as the object ID. So all those things are redundant. We don't actually need to do them. Um, so instead of just having these things, all we just pass in here is object. And then we're gonna use those comments inside of our comment serializer. So we're gonna call this instead Q CQS, so comment query set. And then finally comments equals to comment serializer. And this is the CQS. And then finally, many equals to true, and then dot data, and then we'll return comments. All right, so let's take a look. Let's make sure comments itself is in the fields. It is now. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and take a look at our posts. And now we've got our comments here, right? It's showing us our comments. It is saying parent is null, but notice it's only showing the parent comment itself. Um, if we go to that parent comment by going into comments one, we will see the actual replies, but it does also show the reply count. Everything that we kind of expected to see is actually showing up there, uh, which is pretty cool. So now that our comment detail, our post detail, we can actually get all the information that's pretty much related to it. And here, this is a bit limited as to um, all the detail that we want for the comments, right? So if I'm loading this comment detail page, um, I might wanna have all of the comments load, or I might wanna just have a separate get call that is gonna get these comments individually or anything that's related to this slug itself. In other words, um, having a URL, instead of having comments come through, having a URL that actually goes to get those actual comments for that page. That probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense until you actually use it, but essentially doing two calls, 
one call for the post itself and all the detail, and then another call for all the comments that are related to that post. Um, that is something else that you would probably want to consider. Um, but here itself, this is not bad with the exception of not actually showing the replies. And again, if you wanted just one request, it might take a little bit longer, but if you only wanted one request, you could do that, that would include the replies. Um, but this is just a way to show you how you can actually combine those two things with what we've already been doing, um, including you know getting the model managers that we've used. Um, so I can actually um, erase and get rid of all of this stuff right here. It's not necessarily any longer, um, but now we have these comments and they are showing up us in the post page. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.